Base clear versus single stage, which paint does your Mercedes have? Today we're going to talk about paint and this is important in case you get your classic Mercedes painted, which some of you will, if you can find a painter. By the way, if anybody knows where an old hippie in New York lives named Wayne Adams, Wayne, you owe me $10,000. <laughs> so um, a few years ago, I sent this car up to uh, get painted. And of course, the guy took me for a ride. I got the car back in gray primer. It was just miserable what happened. You know, I didn't even get the car painted. I'd given this guy almost $10,000. So if anybody watching knows a good painter, tell me. But one of the things that I got really frustrated with was the fact that nobody seemed to understand that uh, a solid enamel paint on a Mercedes should remain solid enamel and base clear is a reasonable substitute for Mercedes original polyurethane metallics. And so what am I referring to here? Well, the base col the, the colors that take a base clear are like the silvers, the Impala browns, the medium blue metallics, the red metallics, the um, pearl black DB199s. All those are going to end up being base clear because that's, I guess, the modern way to do a polyurethane coat. Mercedes used a really interesting technique when they applied their clear coats on these cars that I don't fully understand where the clear coat integrated itself into the base coat. And as a result, you don't get peeling or set total separation of the clear coat. Rather, what you get is crazing or hazing, fading, this sort of weird breakdown in the surface of the paint that looks like somebody's taken an abrasive and just scrubbed on it. And that's actually the uh, clear coat saying, hasta la vista, baby. And, um, let, we'll say it's like deteriorating out of the base coat. That doesn't mean you can re-clear coat the car. It means you have to get the whole car repainted. But this is a common flaw on the W123 uh, and 126 and 116 and similar cars. Now, we're going to talk about Mercedes base coats, which are enamels. First of all, you need to determine if the paint even needs to be redone or not. Some colors like Labrador Blue or Orient Red fade and oxidize like crazy. And... When they start to fade and oxidize, they develop this sort of hazy film on them that requires a really good detailer to work the paint and feed it, like my friend George likes to say, feed the paint and get the paint to a point where this oxidized layer is removed and it's been clay barred off and then suddenly you could see nice paint again. That's the beauty of base clear. Base Clear doesn't have a top coat that goes away. It just has a top coat that oxidizes and it's like the same all the way through down to the primer. So as long as you have paint on there, technically with the right amount of hard work and a buffer and a lot of polish, you can get the finish back without repainting the car. More often than not, when we have to repaint the cars is when somebody has repainted the car <laughs> and they've used Base Clear. Or... Or when we have cracking, I call it egg shelling, but it's cracking of the paint. Which paints crack? Uh, 050 white, 717 papyrus white, uh, brown, light ivory. All four of those colors like to crack. There are some other colors that were crack prone that I can't recall at the moment. But cracking is a problem with Mercedes single stage paints. And the older you get, the worse it gets. And it was particularly bad in the 80s cars. But I'm not sure. Maybe it was bad in like the 70s cars too. Until Mercedes went to Arctic White, which, you know, I don't know if Arctic White was really a base clear. Some people say it is, but I don't know if it is or not. I actually don't think it is. Um, once Mercedes went to Arctic White, which always seems to look good no matter how bad it is, uh, that problem went away. Anyway, uh, there's not too much more I can help you with besides choosing a good painter, and, and we'll have um, another video about that sometime in the future. But in the meantime, take care of the paint that your Mercedes has because it's very hard to just go out and get a car painted. And um, in the next video that I release, in our next upcoming video, I'm going to tell the story about my 83300D and the paint situation on it and why you have to be careful about paint shops. I don't tell a lot of stories about my personal 
life because most of them show what an idiot and a moron I am and what an epic failure I am sometimes, but um, this is one that I think we can all learn from. So please like, share, subscribe, tap the bell for notifications, leave a comment below if you have anything great to contribute about paint restoration your Mercedes, and um, uh, stay tuned for the next video because it's going to be a great story. All right, talk to you later.